Hey friends, it's Father Jonathan here. And uh, disappointing news for those uh, who clicked because of the, the headline and don't act like you haven't seen a misleading headline or two these days. Uh, there's no writing of original scriptures today. I just wanted to, to uh, share this fun thing. Not fun, I mean, it is fun, but it's also more than that. It's been really life-giving uh, thing, this idea that I've uh, borrowed from other people I've seen doing it right now. And uh, folks are writing out the scriptures. So they're writing their own copies of their scriptures. So, uh, I'm, oh, there was something I was going to tell you about that, but I can't remember right now, so it's, it's okay. Uh, so not writing original scriptures, but writing your own copy of the scriptures, which is to say uh, getting off screens for a little while. That's the gift of it so far, at least three chapters into the letter I'm writing uh, so far. So I've got, here are my ingredients. Look, I've got a Bible. This is my wife's old English Standard Version Bible. I've got my notebook and my fountain pen because why not? Uh, where's my fountain pen? Here's my fountain pen. So, so much of life right now, my life anyway, uh, is, is all, I mean, it's all on screens, right? Meetings are on screens. Uh, my kids' class stuff until recently was on screens. Uh, had three really life-giving meetings with wonderful people I, uh, I care about and, and committed to goals and work that I care about, but it's all on screens. And then there's news consumption and all the rest, um, all on screens, which is to say I'm on some days I'm just sitting there living in my head. And so the challenge for all of us is to move our bodies and become integrated and whole again, right? So uh, exercise is really, really important in this season. Uh, but also creative work and like using our hands is so important in this season. And so I saw some friends and they're, they're writing the whole New Testament out over the course of the summer. And I thought to myself, that is way too ambitious for me. I don't want to do that. And I have no desire to write the whole New Testament out. But I could start with a book. And... Uh, and so I, I looked for like not a super short book, although I think there's nothing wrong with starting with a super short book. Uh, you could start off with uh, Philemon or something like that. Um, it, but but they're, they're using the summer to engage the scriptures with their bodies. And so giving themselves a chance to kind of like walk around it a little bit. It reminds me an awful lot when I first moved to Madison, Wisconsin and, and went to the university and tried to get to know the university. You can't get uh, to, to know a university uh, by driving through it, you have to like get around and I would ride my bike and everything. But one day I got off my bike and I just walked and I started to notice things that I had never noticed before. And that's been my experience so far, three chapters into uh, to the, the first letter of John. Just noticing all kinds of beautiful and uh, kind things and and just, so here I'll show you, like there's the first chapter starts, the second chapter starts. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to finish the whole letter today. I'll do a letter, uh, maybe a, one of those shorter letters tomorrow. Uh, but just to kind of keep keep me engaged to connect head and heart, mind, soul, body, like all the rest and and, um, and not just kind of live in my head. Uh, also not uh, be paralyzed by choice. There's so many paralyzing choices right now, right? Um, there's no paralyzing choice when I'm copying scripture. There's the only choice is to keep going. And how far will I go right now? So um, just wanted to share that with you in case you're uh, inspired to, to find your own letter and start uh, your work as an amateur scribe. Um, let me know what let I mean, if you want to, let me know. I would love to know what letter you start with. I started with First John. Um, and let me know how it goes, what you see, what you notice. Um, and maybe we can even like share uh, pictures of our manuscripts. Uh, from a distance and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, just wanted to share that. And again, I'm completely stealing from some other friends who are doing the whole New Testament. It reminds me a lot of a few years ago, we did this thing at St. Francis House called the Summer of Scripture with our friends at St. Andrews and some other people. We we set out to read the whole Bible in over the course of the summer because there were a lot of us in our community who felt like we didn't know the Bible as well as we wanted to. And that became a source of, so for some people, like, intimidation become shame um, a real obstacle to to our individual life of faith and to our corporate life of faith so we thought what the heck let's just like bite the bullet do the whole thing in the summer it was crazy uh, it, it was uh, kind of all-consuming 
Um, but it was also this gift because we were spread out across the country. Uh, those of us, even the ones in the community were traveling because it was summertime and all that kind of stuff. So the summer can be this really real gift of time to uh, intentionally explore the scriptures in ways that we might not otherwise when, uh, when life is more structured. Um, so, so yeah, so Bible, writing utensil, notebook, and just maybe 15 minutes a day. That's, that's I think that would be enough to, to get a start. Anyway, share, share with me what you decide and, and, uh, and how it unfolds for you. I'd be really uh, keen to follow your journey. All right, peace, friends.